Welcome back. Thought I'd try to play some Nefex. I don't know if the lyrics will be... It's, it's got good music, but it might just be a little loud. Unless it doesn't play very loud, so we'll see. Fight Back is a good song. I, I don't know all this music, but I, I want to know. Good song. So I made this today, where the river flowed. I've been watching, because I said in like a couple episodes, I was like, everyone should see my Damn It Arcoon playlist, like, which is true, but I start watching it, and I'm like, you know, these first few episodes are a little slow, because I'm just like looking around, <clears throat> and I realized I never really did anything with this except for like noticing it and pointing out in the videos uh, so I made this today this is from Google Maps admittedly it, like it could be an artifact uh, but it's really not like some people who like look at it and can't explain it geologically their minds are gonna say uh, it's probably an artifact and just hold that as if it's true but it's really not if we look around here, I'm not gonna go right to the location, but just anywhere. Like, it's pretty cohesive. Pretty cohesive, pretty cohesive. Like, it's sure, like, there's definitely nuances that are missing, but, like, this is probably a, a smooth, flat surface. It's probably not so smooth. Probably not so smooth, more rough. Especially coming over here, then we hit this. Like, this is clearly not so smooth. Like, smooth, not so smooth. Keep going, and that's where this is right here. If we zoom in on it, like, it's got, first of all, it's got a peak here, this angle here. Like, maybe it's not exact. Admittedly, it's probably not exactly this. But it really, like, I don't think Google Images artifacts the, the like, the elevation. So, like, this says 4750, and I moved my mouse around to try to find, like, the highest, which goes about there, 4760, 4761, I just saw. Pretty much 4760, but if we go over here, it's not 4760, it's more like 4700. And the, like at the center region, at least 4690, even like lower, like right there. If I go right here, though, it's around 4710, 4750, whatever, something in that range. And then over here, like it goes back up, over here it goes down, over here it goes down. Like it's in the dimensions in that way, too, but like. If we really look at it, it looks like it's probably pretty smooth. Like, it's got all these little nuanced lines here and what's probably, like, growth on it. Uh, like these. Like, is this an artifact? I don't think so. Is this right here? Like, the boundary between this structure and where it's more, like, this is very much... Like, is that an artifact? That just looks real. Like, it's it's like that. That's the point. It's like that. It's not an artifact. It needs explained. Yeah, it would be better to have an actual image and not just Google images. But the problem is, is this is not easy to get to. Anyone hiking here is not going here. They're hiking to over here. And to get there, they go through this region. Like, they go here, down this way down these switchbacks, down down to this riverbed, but then they go this way, and somewhere go up here, we can see the trail there, so they go that way. They're not going over here, although it's, I guess it's possible there's someone 
with an image from like this location looking out over that way that can actually see it. I have not found one. I looked for helicopter videos to Damador because some of them go there. No one happens upon this structure in the video to help me see it in a more like video photographic way and I'm limited to the satellite but I think the satellite is sufficient I know it's very integral to things I'm saying in in small ways like it's not like that important it's just interesting really it's an interesting aspect that really demonstrates my point my perspective is this like, let's go to that image, I guess. My perspective is this. Water flowed atop it. Which, you know, maybe not that exciting, but if you think about it, like, how did water flow atop it? And, and like, the striations are generally trending this way, so it's not, like, coming from above. It's not coming from above and doing this. It's clearly going in either this direction or this direction mind you that's why i put these elevation here 4380 so this is 200 meters from the riverbed up to just where it be the structure begins over here 4550 which is interestingly around like i can't turn this but so let's go here 4550 45 i guess it's around right there but like where this structure kind of goes down here to about the riverbed is around 45 60 63 there 62 61 like 40 45 60 let's say in that area so back to this image real quick curiously it's very close to that so it's Oddly, like it looks like my interpretation is that the flood caused this, and plate tectonics, geology as we know it, cannot explain this structure. It's as simple as that. It can say it's water caused. Like, that's what obviously water does this, but it can't explain what water did this. That's what's so incredible about it. Although, yeah, you guys can see me. I can see that. That's right. I'm on the other side. Um, so it's got this peak dip, this thing, and then up here as well, the fan. And so it even fans out. Like, if we look up here, it's even got, like, follow this, follow this, follow this to here. And then to here, there's, like, this little fan section that has some upward trend there. Sideways there, sideways, and then just like kind of ends where it meets this region. So like an extension off of it. So it's got this going across, which also like has this, like if I mouse here, 45, 74, 45, 66, and then it goes back up. So it's actually right here. It's like the water came over and went down and actually created like a location here where it drilled in a little bit more closer to the mountain but not as much like at the very boundary here like straight up water flow evidence like no other on a scale like if we measure this let's just measure this from Let's say, like, around where it starts and not, like, here, but from around here to around here. Let's say there, so 0.2, point a quarter, like, across there, even over there, it's pushing 0.3 kilometers. It's pretty big in that dimension. Maybe measure again in this dimension, from about here from about here, let's say, to about here. Almost a half a kilometer, 0.42. It's pretty big. That's interesting, wow. Let's measure the area of it now. Just go like this, maybe.
one kilometer perimeter. And that's ignoring this extra fan up here. Right, it's pretty big. That's the point, it's pretty big. Oh, that didn't really, okay. Clearly it exists. It just clearly exists. It's not an artifact from like layering, even though there is like clearly some like two layers here. This image and this image are not the same. So there is a divide that literally goes through it. So, so again, like a geologist looking at this location might say, well, it doesn't match. Like I can perceive that it looks like it's water erosion. So, and I can't explain it. So it's gotta be explainable by something other than geology, like the artifact of the uh, mapping. And I see this divide. So there's clearly some like combination of two images here. But like, it's pretty flowing like over here. Look at the detail. Are they, are they gonna deny these details? Like here, are these details like totally invalid? Are these details invalid? It's only the thing that it, like shakes their worldview that will make them say, no, 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 no. Artifact, artifact. <laughs> so anyway, I thought I would share that real quick. I don't, I'm definitely, I'm going through my damn dark coon videos. Last night I posted a, my first episode of what may or may not become a more, like more of them, I don't, I don't know. It took me maybe 20 minutes after I noticed the video to like make one, but then, but it's a, a live discovery series where I just went onto my video editing, editing software, cut the clip out of the full episode where I noticed that the ramp I was like, oh my god, that was the moment I noticed the ramp. I'm just kind of looking around, looking around. And I'm like, what? Well, talking about the current flow coming in here, saying it goes around here. I think, like, doing, like, I think it goes like this, goes over here. And then I'm like, what does it do? Maybe, well, it would probably run into resistance to this. So maybe it goes like this. And that's when I noticed the ramp. That was it. And then like a little bit more and then like me being like yeah it's the it's a ramp like that's happening the water is doing that which the damn it Arcoon series is a lot of details around like over here over here relating to that it is a ramp doing that and it's so cool and other things like these coming down here and crossing the current that's wrapping around at this boundary going across here, like literally across this lake, across this chakra, across this lake, over up the, this ramp and around bending and then up the ramp and shooting across over here, which took me a while to really feel more confident about. if. You watch the videos it, it's like i'm i'm even looking at it i'm like where could it have ramped I'm like doing this like <laughs> i'm like dude it did do that i i looked at it i was like that's interesting where could it have ramped <laughs> oh my god over time I'm like yeah i think it went there i just maybe i don't want to conclude it too quickly it maybe seemed unreasonable at first, but the more I thought about it, the more I'm like, yeah, that's what's up. So anyway, that's my little intro to this episode, which is, I figured was fitting enough because we're not going to talk about this location particularly. Uh, but instead, I decided I would continue some shallogram images i don't know i think i was here i'm pretty sure the last shallograms were these ones so let's just start here I'm, i might have done this one but i'm fairly certain no others so we got like 15 20 we got like 20 20 shallograms so we've seen some like this 
hopefully you're like acquainted with my shallowgram episodes um real real shortly if you're not they're considered fossils but they're not they're caused in these current flows that were shaping this region like here's part of a shallowgram this ramp is the nucleus of the shallowgram there's a, a lobe out here like this one that then has like another structure beyond it like right here ish somewhere like right there i believe is what i concluded something like that something of that nature and other like structures many of them in lots of cool ways also real quick uh, i don't know if i ever really like strongly stated it but i i believe a critical aspect of this is that the himalayas are forming west to east so that there's literally a current flow energy propagation west to east this way that is interacting with a current flow of water so there's mountains going mountainous current going this way literally like the material generally speaking propagating west to east in the formation process but then there's water coming from across from lake baikal beyond through the chakra of tarim basin and the structure through the center where there's a chakra structure like in shallograms which I'll point out in a second. I was also thinking maybe I should make a shallowgram image where I label everything with the terms I use. I use dendrite too much. I need to differentiate dendrite. Should I should I should speak about specific components and then suture maybe other components that are erosion based rather than um, like a mass dendrites i should probably use to refer more so to the masses and sutures to the erosion based current paths okay so that water though comes this way and at the center of the himalayas cuts through at the kaligandaki gorge forms the kaligandaki river which is the, this and then because there's a current west to east it then shoves energy propagation not like bursting at the seams from here it doesn't really go uh to the west which i guess that way to you but uh it goes to the east instead because there's pressure over here pushing it that way so it ends up largely like branching out in this direction to the east and at like a balance point in the energy is the damn it arcoon the lake region i don't know what this structure is called damn it arcooned is these lakes generally speaking is what it's referring to so i'm not sure if this has a name i'm not sure if this has a name i'm just calling it the ramp at this point or the nucleus of this overall structure this like a lobe like a shallogram but so currents are flowing here shaping the region by this current and then in the process, they're literally doing the same on a small scale, shaping rocks with the same current that's flowing here, but just small scale where it literally takes shale and quartz with well, just the materials of a black shale and causes it to flow in an eddy that forms generally like a spheroidal shape that then current gets into and etches the stone into the end product of what we now are going to look at so here this was shaped by currents and then etched by currents so that's what we're talking about and here's like for instance this is very anomalously it's not regular like this is regular if if it's a fossil which as it's said to be like this makes a little more sense where it's regular but where it's like wavy doesn't make sense it doesn't matter how many years have gone by and what kind of like excuse geology can come up with it cannot explain this or biology because it's been misclassified into literally the wrong study the wrong group like it's in biology basically this is studied as if it's biology pretty much but it's just not as far as geology is concerned it's a black shale and it has some fossils in it so what do we care it's black shale there's lots of black shale we don't care 
so it doesn't care. Biology also doesn't care because it's just an ammonite, and then there's lots of ammonites, and these are only in one place, and it's hard to study them, but they're ammonites, we've decided. So we don't care either, so like no one cares really about shallograms, relatively speaking, pardon me, people who do. But like, they're clearly not fossils when we look at them, so let's like here. This one I mentioned before, it literally has spaces between where there, it didn't etch. Etch there, didn't etch there, didn't etch there, didn't etch there. Why would a fossil do this? Besides excuses, there's no explanation. As well as it has current flows. So it's probably like two separate directions, uh, almost like on the planet, because that's pretty much what was happening, like literally just fractally so where one side of current is flowing in like a clockwise direction say and the opposite there's like two around two poles they're flowing in opposite directions so where they abut one another they create like a tension which then causes turbulence which then leads to wave structures and sometimes i guess really like up and down type things whatever's going on here i've never seen this in a shallogram because shallograms are very unique a lot of times they have features that are just not on other shallograms really maybe like if you really saw every shallogram you'd find this a little bit more but i've never seen one in the thousands of shallograms i've looked at that really does like these spaces with regularity between the teeth because it's clearly just the teeth flowing which is a term i can't use teeth i think that's a shallogram term as well we can see it over here with that irregular shape over there okay this one also this is from uh rudraksh guru website this one here is from Shri, Ru Shri Rudram. This is on Etsy. Or was on Etsy. Depending on when you watch this. I'm pretty sure it's still there, but... Um, it's got tiny nucleus. Real tiny nucleus. That's pretty cool. Like a current is going down this way and a physically around this and generally pushing out against the side like it goes essentially what happens is it goes in the top down through the chakras and out the other side and wraps around goes back to the top wraps around back to the top and as it does that some of it comes out of this current to go sideways and goes like down this way down this way like initially down here and wraps in there and then etches this chunk out, and then over here etches a bit bigger chunk chunk out, and then etches around here, etches around here, etches around here, and while it's doing that, it's shaping these masses like that. Anything is not removing, it's shaping them according to the current flows. So there's lots of like really unique anomalies in all of them, especially the more regular they are. Like maybe right here, there's kind of, like these are the teeth here, which looks more typical ammonite like when we look at something like that. But also ammonites are not fossils either. They're just more regular. So they're harder to determine they're not fossils, especially when people like the pretty ones and like don't so much take the anomalous ones because they look weird and like not as valuable when in reality they're far more valuable because they're just anomalous. Anomalies are more valuable for like understanding at least than just like a mirror of the same thing. If you see one thing and then see something that looks identical, have you really seen a second thing? Or have you just seen like the same thing again? And just, it just, all it does is it says that thing repeats itself a lot. And that's kind of what shells do of creatures. So like maybe that makes sense in that circumstance. So, um, like, it's totally understandable that we believe that they're fossils of living creatures that once existed, but they're literally not. They're the results of current flows both here and elsewhere, as we've discussed in depth. I've literally established it is a fact. It's just a matter of the world has not caught up to the fact of the matter. 
it's established. You can like recognize it's established by just taking the time to look at the evidence that I present. It's up to you. I don't, I don't make, I can't move your hands. I can't make, like, hold your eyes open and say, watch it. I said, watch it. I'll pull your ears up to the speaker. You hear it, right? <laughs> okay, okay. Like here, here's an instance of an anomaly. Like we see this, but then we see this. Like is it, why is it happening twice right next to each other? What fossil is doing this? Ain't no fossil. And then this standard to have like current flows on it where it goes like one direction and then another and then another and then another and wraps around generally in like a wrap arounding kind of way because that's what happened is the surface was etched in current flows that were just pressing into it and etching according to their direction of travel kind of like this which is why this as soon as i looked at it i was like oh my god thank you for existing <laughs> thank you as soon as i saw this i was like thank god this place exists maybe i didn't say that but you know that's how i feel about it it's so incredible I mean, the whole damn it, Arcoon, but this little feature that seems kind of just like, okay, is just incredible. And I'm so excited because it is, it's right there. Like, the things I'm saying can be checked. It's not like it's like, well, you know, we need a large hydron collider. And, uh, <laughs> I got into a debate today about what the definition of author is in a journal setting because there was a. Uh, um, the 5,000 author paper. It's like seven pages, too. It's got like 5,000, I think 5,514 authors. Like CERN. Just, like, there, I'm like, there's no way any of these people were involved in this in terms of like authorship. Sure, they did some research. Probably just like a list of people who work at these places. None of them know each other. Like, that's one of the requirements. You have to know what the other authors contribute, but you don't... Sure, you know what their institute contributed, but you they probably never even met each other, like a lot of them. 5,000 people. There's no chance that they've all interacted and established. This person's work has integrity. There's no way. They just haven't bothered, and yet the scientific community like promotes it. Like, oh yeah, this is a work of peer review. No offense, guys involved. I think, I think the person I was talking to was actually one of the authors. They seemed very. Uh, they seemed as if they were, but when I when I suggested it, they didn't. Like the way they spoke afterwards made me think they might have been some. I don't mean no offense to these people. I'm sorry guys, it's just true, like, that's not how science works, science comes through someone discovering something, not force-fitting, that's what they're, that's what's happening now, is throw enough money at it, and maybe enough, like, high degrees of people who all think the same, because they've all been trained the same, no offense, <laughs> you know, what are you gonna get, you're gonna get just a bunch of people, like, affirming one another's beliefs you're not gonna get the truth the truth comes from people who just discover things like isaac newton michael faraday it just happens you can't force it to happen it just happens and maybe i need to learn from that because i try to force a lot of things in some ways but like Let's say these go over there, and then they bend in that kind of direction like it goes over there. It doesn't, maybe it doesn't flow over there, but these seem to stop as well. So like as it bends, maybe this flow was flowing over that way. Or possibly something more complex where it's literally coming out. I think it's when it comes out here, it's probably at that point of going out at the bottom and around to the top and in here and some of it going across in here some of it going across 
and something of that nature, um, or it's just another current atop it that's holding the current going around against the stone. Like just cool features that don't really make sense. So cool, we can see chambers, chamber, cross sections. I got eroded a bit, I guess. It maybe broke off and then was like, uh, current flows when I top it to then shape it a bit more. So it's more smooth, even though it's like bumpy, like the surface is smooth itself. Like we can see the current paths go right across in there from over here, right across. So this probably broke off a chunk, maybe, maybe it's top, like, tumbling or something because it's protruding from the rock and just broke off For some reason it broke off but it broke off before the like current flows atop it were done etching its surface so they continued to so it's a little more smooth also here's another one with this ramp here speaking of ramps like Is the mud just doing this? Like, is it, or whatever the shale is it getting into the shallogram? Like, it, it's in it. It's in it. Like, here is the base of the of the shallogram shells, like boundary that supposedly, or the ammonite that supposedly etched this stone. Supposedly, there was a fossil in here. So within it is this structure that's like shaped like it literally shaped like it as well as it's up here like this whole chunk is within it but then this like circular feature is very anomalous and uh, there's little things there like going this way that are kind of like that maybe possibly some specks over there just the way this is probably telling of something like the way this comes off this very corner and it goes out and over that way let's see if this line across here has any relevance to other structures maybe to there gets a little wider there that's interesting this is kind of cool. I like, I like this one. It's not it's not the most exciting overall, but it's, it's kind of cool looking. Like this, it's cool looking. It's more more standard shallogram like, but it's definitely got some nuance that is unique to it. Just as shallograms all do. Sometimes they're very like the most basic ones that you can see into. Sometimes look very similar, where it's like. The only way to distinguish them is by putting them next to each other, going back and forth. Uh, that one's got a little different shape. That one's got a little different here. But like, the, usually, like I see one, I'm, I'm like, I've never seen that one before, and I know it because it looks like no other one I've seen before. Pretty simple. I'm gonna fly on it. Like this, there's a line going across there, and then it seems related to that. Up this way, and then it seems related to that. But that's not like the curve of the ammonite. Like the ammonite doesn't suddenly go over that way, like it more so wraps around, presumably. If such a shell exists all the way through it may not even but it probably it probably does relatively but typically it does but sometimes it doesn't even fully form the structure in a case like this it probably formed the structure because it's so defined from the front we can see it back there for sure so it probably has like a, the whole this chunk thing like within the stone matrix at least to a degree at some point, maybe it kind of coalesces with the matrix itself, where it didn't have as much current to differentiate the material, but... Okay, let's keep going. Another one. There's a Rudraksh Guru. Why is that F? 
this must be the next one. That's right, this, this is from the next one. So I guess we'll start here on the next one. FG. So this, that's this one. This one, we'll come back to this. That's the, this side. So it's got some things going on here, like a weird wavy thing. Like it's still got the teeth, but it's just weird and wavy and like inconsistent. But like also has bigger waves. Small wave there, but within it, little teeth. So like a big tooth with little teeth. Which, if we go to Dammit Arcooned, we've got like a big tooth with a little tooth with tiny teeth, like tiny teeth, that then like periodically has different shapes, different sizes of the, like here's a tooth, like here maybe, here, 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 but then within it, smaller ones still, maybe more, most defined here, over here with the smaller ones. So that just happens in Shallograms too, like in this instance. Also the way this has like a little crevice there, like, like this is connected through there, but then this is also connected to there. So it's almost like divided here. So, and then just features like this, like a freaking eyeball. It's, things like this are just explained with trace fossils. Oh, can't explain it. Trace fossil did it. Something passed through and decided to make an eye shape. That's just how they are. They're such artists, these little trace fossils that we only know of through their trace fossiling. <laughs> Different angle that face again. This looks kind of maybe related in the way like the pointy part there is pointing over there, even though it's got this in the middle, so maybe not. This also looks maybe related that way, hard to say. Let's get to the front side though. Okay. Some more teeth type structures here, more like these things, bigger though over here. But like, why are their teeth at a different angle? Like they're, they're like going across like this almost. This also seems to have maybe a chakra somewhere. Like whatever's going on here is possibly pointing to some, to here. But then this is kind of coming off of something that like it's all sorts of weird things happening. This is pointing over here at this mound. We don't necessarily see an opposing chakra atop this, but it does. We do see this mound. Some uh, some other of uh, these types of uh, etchings, possibly a nucleus starting to form there. Some more etchings over there. Get a little bit better there. Like we can see a circular thing. Actually, that's crazy. It's doing like a circle like this relatively like this with like a nucleus like this but it's also doing like a chakra and a chakra with lobes like if we were to be looking more at a cross section like down across like a across this a cross section this is not the best one like like the one we're just like this so kind of with like a nucleus thing here and then two lobes out this way that's what, kind of what I, the vibe I'm getting from this thing here. Even though it's within a circular structure, that's pretty interesting. This, like what? Like what? Little teeth down here for no apparent reason. Oh, it's just a little broken piece. I mean, that works until we see other structures like that that make no damn sense in that type of analysis. Make no sense. It literally just sticks as the interpretation because there's no pushback from the truth. Yet. But now, sooner or later there will be when people like start to realize I'm not just full of shit and I know what I'm talking about. Even, even if it takes me some time to go through some like options to like deduce what's happening, like, this is current-induced. 
current induced, current induced. Current shaped in the currents. Compacted in the currents and then shaped by the currents, by the circumstances of the rock and the currents. Here's some teeth, for instance, that just move into this like straight line. Which then has this other thing off the side that looks maybe like these over here generally pointing over here. I don't know. Or maybe, I don't know where exactly like this one's pointing. There. Maybe they're pointing generally like there. It looks like oh, it looks like that's a pretty good spot for this row here. Like they're all pointing around around this edge. And then these ones maybe are also pointing there then. <clears throat> but like it's all cohesive in one, but just etched. Like there's no uh, fossil that was there doing this. It's also this. Like what is excuses that's all we got beautiful it's just beautiful i love you shallograms this one like this side kind of broke off i guess in the currents and then they st like it looks like it's just wobbling out like ah the current flows coming off here and just like running into another current Maybe multiple currents going opposite directions around like a belt of the rock. Around like this way. That then when the current, the current comes to like the chakra point and then it sp it's, uh, shoots out through these directions. Running into resistance and going over top it but still going in a generally straight line. And creates these... and just etches these paths. But then current went off of the rock over here, so it looks like it might have influenced this pretty substantially in a weird way that doesn't typically. Weird and revealing way. This one this is another side of that rock. Also from Ridge Rocks Guru. Here's, a, here's an instance where like this crack here points at points at that like that tends to happen a lot where the, these structures point at things outside of the ammonite structure itself this one's just so cool because it's so fine grained or whatever like very close to one another and not quite like it's a little wobbly like i don't know what to make of it like if i if i thought this was a fossil i'd be like it doesn't like here's a chakra but it's got like a weird shapes. I'd have to say it was like something to do with the way the fossilization process changed its shape. Like I have to excuse it by something of that nature. And yet it doesn't really explain it because it's at the boundary of the rock. It's very smooth here, very smooth here and yet perfect here. different one let's see i haven't looked at these since i took the pictures on this from rujak's guru again they're probably largely from there but definitely not only from the rest of these um so i don't remember exactly i'm just spit like this is just free styling i'm sp i'm freestyling i Cause I can, cause I know what I'm talking about. That's what's, that's what's up. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Okay. So immediately I notice here. <laughs> Sorry to be arrogant. I'm just speaking facts. Like if I know what I'm talking about, I shouldn't have to like be prepared because I'm already prepared. Although uh, time will tell in the future if I'm like, it's not like it's like easy to like keep thinking about these things and hold it firm and like solid in my head like it definitely can kind of just fall away so like time will tell <laughs> how long i'm uh, i might be like a baseball player who can't play anymore like i'm past prime of my career showing that even happens in things other than sports that we don't appreciate yet because we haven't really experienced like a this type of um, approach is much more like structured. You go to school, get your college degree, and then get the job in the field, and then start writing papers in the field. 
if you're doing that and then uh, like no one else is allowed to contribute <laughs> but this is much more like freestyled from uh, self-taught as an engineer it's not like being a chemical engineer is easy people are like people doubt me i'm like dude dude not, not that i practice as a chemical engineer but just literally getting the degree is not easy I would just not want to go through that again. Fuck that noise. Okay, so this one though goes points right at the chakras. Is that an accident? This points at the chakra. Is that an accident? This also goes off the very end this way. Like at the middle, off that way. This one looks like maybe it goes off a top kind of direction there. And maybe even bends a bit from the pressure this way, possibly. And it's certainly, I'm not special. Anyone can do what I do if they just fucking do it. God, do it though. That's what makes me unique is I did it. No one else is doing this. No one else is up on these things. Okay. I mean, people will listen to me. I appreciate it. Not to be rude, I'm such an asshole. I get it. No wonder people don't listen to me. <laughs> I'm such an asshole. It's probably why my ass is inflamed. Because I'm an inflamed asshole. <laughs> it's just less of a, that's the nature of reality. I wouldn't be surprised if that's just like something that happens. Natural law it doesn't give a shit if we have our own fake ass law we made up, it still exists. So, this happens sometimes where it's like a drill point that leaves a thing there. I'm sure if you've seen my Shallogram episodes, you're well aware. I don't know what to make of everything, of course, but just the mere fact to be able to point out anything like anomalous is important maybe these chakras are like generally where this boundary is so the boundary of this one is where these chakras are where if we go back here the boundary of this one is where this chakra is so it's kind of like they're related even though they're staggered it's another face of the same one can kind of see teeth going around there and then it does some weird things like there's teeth there opens up almost has a chakra with two lobe type things there which i'm pretty sure happens although we have to find one like this in the midst of a flow like that although maybe it, at some point it just looks like it, the flow is like off of this rather than this being in the midst like that uh, I don't know. This here though, it's, so before I go on, if you don't know, the top, bottom, far side, and then one third and two thirds are energetically weak points. Systematically where current flow will branch out of, let's see. Where is it? Also, this might be where it's just pulling up because it's awesome. Like dendrites or the sutures that are just on a rock for no reason. Like it's not part of an ammonite. This one is incredible. These are incredible. This is common. So this is what I mean. Like current's wrapping around. It literally it's wrapping around down here, but then it goes up this way and gets up to here and kind of stays here. There's all sorts of things like that. Like there's probably a current going the opposite direction coming down, or maybe not the directions I was mousing as their actual travel. Like it's etched in this one. Here's some weird teeth just hanging out. Some other teeth, way different scale, but just etched in. This one just wraps around the whole entire rock for no reason, according to Ammon. According to biology, it makes no sense. This one wraps around the entire rock, has this little feature underneath it even. Like it's related to this. 
this wraps around the rock, has all these cool things. Okay, that's not what I'm looking for though. Where is it? Cracks from spiral, this. So this is top, bottom, side, and then one third, two thirds, bottom on that one. And then this one, top, bottom, far side, one third, two thirds, just systematic. Maybe not always, but very common. This one, top, top, oh, it goes off at a weird angle. These actually connect around this rock and then collide. Like this one's pretty sure this is the like, it doesn't make any damn sense for, for a fossil to do. But currents make perfect sense. Like if a current went both those ways, like this is this. So it goes both ways and then, and then collides and then shoots this beam down this way. That's this. Okay. Um, so in this case though, it's at the bottom. All, all that just to say, that's at that bottom. I'm sure there's others at the bottom, far side, top, and one third, two third. Chakras. Uh, why am I not able to go over 606? Okay, another chakra there, kind of spiral out, but I'm, like, it's probably anomalous over there, like, it's at the edge of the rock where this is happening, so it kind of slips, creates a weird structure off the side, some just teeth over there, another spiral chakra, chakra point that has like a defined end and a bit of a spiral, but it's probably a little weird between this structure and over there. Hard to say, but like a connection, a threading between this and there kind of thing. It's probably present. It also a different like angles of looking at it can like this almost looks like a lobe like one of these but more sharp cornered but it's probably like when we go back here it's just kind of like this hard to say from this these images this one like whatever's going on back there this is the best image i think of this like the, the different colors is so cool. And then the, the nucleus is like bubbly, maybe exploding. Looks like it has a heart. Heart nucleus. Cool colors over here. Almost like a military colors over there. The camouflage. The teeth are abnormal. It's a little slanted out over to that side also. More typical. I think I mostly took this one because of this. Cool nucleus, this is cool, but mostly because of the color over there. This also, it's got these little current paths. I don't know exactly what's happening here. Like, just because I can't explain everything doesn't mean I'm not, like, describing what's happening so that the world at large as a collective can figure things out. That's what we do, unless we are arrogant. 
and ignore people who have valid points, and then we just sit around until we like redline society. Yeah, let's just vaccinate everyone while people who have valid points to make are ignored. Guys, how many decades till we like learn to stop being rude to one another? <laughs> 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 little teeth off there, little nucleus, again with the differentiation of the material back there, very cool, and then just sharp boundary over there, looks like a chunk broke off here, maybe like in the currents, like it got under it and just kind of slipped it off. I kind of see the cross section of that even. Looks more like a blob. This one looks, it's got like the little dendrite finger things off the edge around it and pretty much happens as current flows between the two and shapes this one. While this is held more firm by pressures from the outside. Top of the rock, some something going on there. We can see the current flows. Top view again. Another one with the chakras here. It's spiraling out and then chakras here. Or the this the teeth features going out. And teeth are out here really more so, but these things, the spokes going out this way from a chakra that looks like it's generally around there, maybe, going out that way. So let's keep that in mind with relationship to this. It doesn't look like it actually like reaches it. Maybe if it reached it, it would be more like that far. Like there, there's an instance where like a current flow perhaps went that way that way we can even see a couple there 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 like it comes off of this spiral and gets caught in some other more overwhelming current like this overwhelms other currents but as soon as it reaches the boundary it starts to be overwhelmed effectively and goes with the current more perhaps across that way Looking in at the chakra, it's definitely not in line with this, but this is in line with this. This chakra is in line with the end of this structure, basically. So even though they're not in line with the chakra, this is again something that happens a lot, where they align at certain locations, like specifically where the material inside is at two is a point of alignment a lot like it doesn't matter where it is wherever that point is on, on this side in this case it aligns with another system frequently to a point where it, like it's because they're current induced also this looks like it connects across here and, like almost runs into resistance and bounces off it or something even though this looks like it's really this lobe. Maybe this ran into this current and just caused like it to go out this way instead. Also, the current flows in both directions, like there's two different materials, and dependent on the material, whether it's fine grain or coarse grain material, it flows in opposite directions, ultimately, because the smaller particles travel faster in the current, so they're more able to be moved. Makes me think of light. What can we learn about light from that? <clears throat> to a point where effectively it literally produces what would at least appear as two opposite flows, even though one might just be slower than the other. Like if you're one of the particles, it looks like the other particle is either moving 
towards you if you're going fast or away from you if you're going slow. So different directions. Even though I guess once it passes you, I mean, basically front to back or back to front passing you or you passing it, depending on particle size. So, so effectively going opposite directions to a point where it even manifests that. That's why the, those points are important, like the far end. Like what's happening here is a current is flowing this way and this way and colliding at like an energetically uh, weak point at the far end where it's kind of opposite. And along the way, for some reason, they're more able to just pass each other. So like the current going this way that doesn't collide with the current going this way is more able to just flow opposite, like adjacent to it though. And then vice versa over here, it also hits here. Like, it, and then it runs into another weak point where like odds are it hits and etches down. And then vice versa, this one flows, and if it doesn't hit the current coming the opposite direction, it keeps going, but then it hits again, and also keeps going, but like, that's why these are happening, that's why these are happening. Cool features, cool features, cool, cool features. I know guys, it was really... I didn't mean to write such a beautiful song just like that. <laughs> I don't know what to say about this right now, but there's this these teeth continue over there. Looks like there's some like waves there and small little etchings. Hard to say. Coming off that way is pretty interesting. Couldn't really see it on the first angle. Also, Ridrox Guru here, where I got this. Teeth there. Again, this also happens where they connect to one another, like something's going on here, and then it's connecting, like th threaded. I don't know if it actually reaches something else, but frequently it does. Like it, threads to another system, another system, they're all connected. We can see one of these going on over here where it's got like a node in there. And then all these ribs, I've never seen it so bumpy like that, that's interesting. Sh sharp little etching. Sharp little etching, also this looks almost like it's bending. It reminds me of the... Uh, maybe two videos ago, I don't know, somewhere where I was talking about Tizer Dolman in one of Julie Ryder's videos where she had she was talking about the the eagle. Maybe I can just find it real quick. Probably there it is, there it is. This one. This structure right here. Kind of looks twisted. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. There's another one of those ribs. And I wonder if that subtly goes through there. I don't doubt it, but that would be interesting. Like this shape seemingly is related to there. Like with this portion perhaps related to that. This looks like a lobe, one of the lobes of the shallograms, but it, like it, maybe a chakra point there it looks like, but it's not like cohesively forming, but just doing the mechanics of the flows a little bit enough to etch the surface and make it visible that something of that nature is present. Interesting features, interesting features. I don't know what to make of ones like this sometimes without just staring at it and maybe having it in my hand. Some like little tooth like thing, but just a little bit. Just a little bit. Something going on there, wavy like that too. You can definitely see the currents. This, ha this happens a lot where a chunk breaks off. So if we go back to Shallograms, P 
pieces of ammonite like this like this piece broke out of a this piece broke out this piece but like this like this that like this kind of like this but smaller just like a chunk there like in here we see it happening even though it's still within where like a chunk is breaking off here this piece and then this piece where they're separating because it happens here like here so it's doing this in this one still within the matrix but it did it it just didn't release it because it's still within the matrix i wonder if we had it released it it would have like pushed open the rock a little bit more to make space to, to get out like it's almost because it's like bent so really the shallogram rock is like holding it like this and opening a bit maybe but like from the process but not enough it didn't open enough that pressure could just push it out it seems but it did like current etched it enough to basically turn it into that little chunk separated i think that was the only major thing i noticed here like at the very end there's this current coming off there like i was mentioning but it's not so pronounced current going around there like smoothing that indent possibly bending cool shapes Cool shape, I don't think we get a better shot. I feel like I see some circular thing here, like spiraling in the edges. Uh, I might be making that up. I think it's there. I don't want to say I might be making that up. I'm pretty sure it's there. People are like, I knew it. He doesn't. He just says shit. <laughs> like, dear God, people are fucking ruthless. Like, uh, someone makes a claim that they don't, like, they doubt. Oh my god. Just listen until anything to stop listening. That's, that's human nature. <laughs> it's not like a matter of tr seeking truth. It's a matter of disbelief plus listen until disbelief is affirmed. Which you can do with anything. Like the Bible. Oh, the Bible says blah, 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 so I'll disregard everything it says. It, it's irrelevant. There's no, there's nothing about the Bible that's relevant. It shouldn't exist. The world would be a better place without the Bible, because it said this one thing that made me affirm what I already preconceived notions believed. So, uh, it's useless. It's like, dude, there, it's a fucking work of art. Like, it's complex and has so many layers. And, like, I see what you're saying, but at the same time, you don't know what you're talking about, no offense. <laughs> it's so, it's just so happy. It's like, and the Quran. Like, dude, do you know how complex the Quran is? Do you, there are people who study, the, because the Quran is more recent, it's the literal text. Unchanged literal text. There is no changes to the text of the Quran. Except for in translations, but in terms of the Arabic, it is as it always was. Unlike the Bible, where we don't have like the true original text of everything. Like Dead Sea Scrolls kind of help, but like it's only like so good. And admittedly, like the further back in time we go, the more people are just like transmitting information and not like transmitting it through some desired interpretation outcome so like they the bible has good trans good early editions that are like useful but it still doesn't have the mathematic absoluteness of the quran that has been studied in just epic ways it's so epic it's like dude it's impossible to do that Unless it's like intel intelligent design, dude. There is a greater power. Either it's like a unknowable infinite God that's like beyond all that is and just like creates reality and, and us. 
or it's us ourselves in the future, like realizing our, ourselves as a whole to be that and doing it as a collective and like shaping the world. Like we make video games, but making the world, but as a collective in the future, knowing like that's what we're doing and all sorts of things that who knows? It's definitely happening though, it's in there. It's just in there, it can't be denied. It just, I mean, it can be denied. It just can't be like refuted. Certainly can be denied. Just like uh, ev evidence uh, against evolution can just be denied. It's utterly disproven. Evolution has been disproven by Christian scientists. Gave it up to the Christian scientists. Good job, guys. Kurt Wise and uh, team at uh, Genesis is history is a great reference. There's certainly many of them though beyond them. Um, like it's just proven. It's proven evolution is false. It's also proven that radiometric dating is invalid. It's useful for relative ages. It's invalid for absolute ages. It's proven. It's just people don't listen to Christian scientists because they're Christian. They're like, well, you can't be a, like, true scientist then. It's like, dude, these guys got the degree too. What is your line? It, the line is preconceived notions are affirmed. It's not complicated. It's, it's all belief systems all the way down. This one's cool, though. Like, I don't know what to make of it. I just took a picture. It looks like it's doing two lobes over here with a chakra. Maybe even, maybe even etching through, like, a little channel there. I don't think we can see it in any of the pictures, but... Oh, my God, that's so revealing, if that's the case. If it really goes through. Because that's pretty much what happens if we look at... It. Drill through this one so this one it goes in directly and this is very anomalous it doesn't usually do this it usually cuts through the rock in more of like like this creates this little thing like we've been saying but it doesn't usually create a structure of a ammonite around it in this case it did which is pretty anomalous in terms of like Everything about this is anomalous. So what does geology have to say about this? What does biology have to say about this? They just ignore it. That's, that's what they have to say. Nothing. Nothing to be said. Like this. Standard for it to just drill in. Not so standard for it to be like distinguishably drilling in at an angle and creating like two lobes around chakras. Which is what happened here. We even see it kind of drilling in there too, and possibly just moved. Like it was there, and then it moved over here, stabilized more so here. I don't know. Or it's just something. Something where it's very similar. It's even like the same general diameter or whatever. But it looks like I was doing it there and just starting to make the chakras, which is awesome. Oh yeah, we can see there's definitely, there's definitely, that definitely passes through. It's dark like that, or maybe it doesn't like connect fully, but it definitely like goes in and out the other side and has a high porosity at the least. Like, it was removing material so the current could go from here or there. Through the underneath the outer shell of the rock and then out of the shell. And create a chakra that didn't fully form and two lobes that didn't fully form but has the beginnings of an ammonite. Which, like, this is another one that proves they're not fossils because it's doing it in a more current based way that's more clear and distinguishable than like the standard structure something going on there definitely can see that darkness there but I don't think there's other images of that there's that thing there just another like etched in the side a current cutting in the side that's kind of forming like a spiral maybe 
some stuff going on over here and there. More stuff. Okay, where are we at? Matching in there a bit. I don't know. Just some things. These are in line. This looks maybe in line. In line there. Maybe, maybe in line there. Like it's a whole kind of like they're one unit ish divided. I don't know why exactly, but this also maybe relates there. Like this, this suggests there's some kind of erosion happening there, changing it from a darker color, removing the shale, leaving behind a more coarse green material, but not actually etching into the rock. And so that would suggest there's some relationship to this and that between these. I don't know. Okay, I don't know why I took this one as the first one. Looks like we can see some little striations there. This also is not so straight. It looks kind of like it. Unclear, that might just be a camera angle, but. Like, not abnormality up there. Teeth in there, but then the structure around it. Another structure around it, even further, maybe. A little point over there, point over there. That's interesting. Maybe a point over there. It's almost like a compass. That straight line between those two. Cool, cool. See the nucleus in there. Let's keep going. It's like it just didn't etch the path fully. It's still material there that didn't get chunked away in the current. Still material there that didn't get removed, but just went under it enough to like create a separation. Another one. I think that we've been looking at mangalum jewelry now. Mangalum jewelry. Mangalum jewelry, okay. Okay, mangalum jewelry again. So this is cool in here. Like, whoa. Cool, cool, cool. Like, whoa, that's this one. This one looks like that. Like, whoa. Like it's sharply on across there. Over here is a chakra, I'm pretty sure. We'll see it in another image right there. I'm pretty sure we see it more clear, though. Here again, there it is. So cool how it just creates a window in the side. To... So like currents wrapping around this, this chunk and staying within the rock, but I guess some of it is just blasting out the rock itself around it, creating these like erosion patterns around it and radiating out from it. Almost looks like a shark coming up out of the water or something. Cool dendrites in there. Cool. Like, whoa. I'm not sure if that makes any sense. Like, the teeth are there, and then the teeth are there. That's not how ammonites work, I don't think that's it. 
sometimes it looks like it's not like the typical shape to a point where it's like dudes but then i look at it a little closer i'm like okay okay i think it's okay at least like it's generally forming that shape but like i don't know about that i don't know about that there's the chakra pretty clear there Same one. It's also probably related that way. believe has stuff on the other side like a matrix but this side's missing it um not sure why i took this picture though i think just because there was new ones and there it's been kind of shallogram new shallograms have been kind of dry i think there's not that many being posted recently i started to see some new ones finally goes across though like there's clearly a relationship to this little etching in this point possibly that etching and maybe like right there which is in the shallogram not in the shallogram like there's a little bit of matrix on top of it here possibly related to like where this boundary is generally i don't know it doesn't quite point at it but maybe it generally goes there and out So cool, so cool. Oh um, yeah, so like these can just break off in little pieces as those pieces we've been, like this here is, where is it? Not this one, pieces. Um, this one, 421, let's look at 421. Like, there's no no inkling in this that this is kind of like one of these. It's literally one of these with an ammonite in it. Okay? One of these, like, we see this feature. It is one of these. It's just smoothed over, so it basically broke free from a larger ammonite structure that was forming in the currents. And then the currents continue to etch it and smooth it over, but they, in the process, put another ammonite structure in its surface. Science is so cheating. Science is just no competition. Not yet, bruh. Science be cheating. Science be cheating, bro. So, that, that science be cheating, bro. Oh, yeah, that's name and I Big Bang happened. We'll just add some shit. Expansion of space, sure, why not? Oh, yeah, sure, why not? Well, I'm an authority, and I agree. So, you have permission. Chakras, okay, let's say anything out of 
immediately popping out. I don't know. Just lots of lines like, why is this happening? Like, it's clearly this line is clearly related to this system. It's coming off of it like this way and down. But then there's this little jump and then maybe even a little connection there. And then it down there, like, what do these have to do with this ammonite? What does this have to do? It's like relatively parallel and seemingly points generally up there as well. Down here, like they're not regular shapes at all, but they're parts of ammonites. Like this kind of has like a lobe shape like this with like a thing across here, like a, just missing parts of it because that's how it happens a lot. So there's that one that we're just looking at with those things and then down here some like stacks of them here so this one i believe like that's right in line there this chakra is right in line with that this is in line with that these three are relatively in line down there like it, it would it, for science's explanation coincidence that's all it's got that's the only way to explain this because fossils don't care that they're stacked one on top another perfectly it's not like they're dying stacked one on top of another perfectly it doesn't make any damn sense here we go there's some chakras there maybe they're related to down here like there it's hard to say still it looks like it might be related to there but it's hard to say admittedly this maybe is related to there, and this maybe related to there, and it's certainly crossing some currents in this space, so it's harder for them to like stay in the perfect line, I believe, I imagine, at least. This bends towards there, like it maybe more points towards the chakra though, that's interesting. Like if it, it's more just straight across this way and points at the chakra. I try not to move my mouse. It points at the chakra. See how that's straight line? <laughs> I don't have a way to just draw a line on the screen, so I have to do it by mouse without like putting it in Photoshop and all. But like we can definitely see there, that's in line. That chakra, maybe the chakra is actually in line with that and it's a little, like not quite, like the chakra is in line with the actual opening boundary here and then this edge is more in line with there, which maybe something of that nature. That's in line there. I don't know what's going up on up here. Like maybe there's a chakra in there. I have no idea. Some weird structures there. Also, they thread through to one another right here. This one is bending, but if it just keeps going straight, it actually joins this one, which is very common for them to just go like between one another, up to the next level, up to the next level, up to the next level, where it's just shallow gram sta ammonites stacked. Chakra, some weird structures around it, I don't know. It's like a dinosaur. It's an eyeball, no mouth. Missing a mouth. It's kinda cool when it has you can see the chakra, but then it forms like lobes around it outward. Like a, there, in the case like this, it, I would not anticipate like a full-blown ammonite structure over here. It's just beginning to do it, and didn't like complete the process. So it's much more just subtle. That's in line there. That bends. So I'm kind of cheating, but. Relatively in line over there, too. Maybe in line across here, like across all the way there. Why Why would fossils do that? <laughs> they just want it, that's why. That's why. <laughs> it 
So kid, so kid. Okay, here's another one. Boundary, boundary. Hard to say where the chakra would be in here. It's got a huge nucleus. Huge, huge. Kind of see teeth going out there. Teeth over here, teeth there. Going out that way, it's generally off the end maybe, possibly. I was looking to see if this connects like back around. I don't know. Oh, this one's crazy, which is still this one. From Rudraksh Guru. Up this way, just like, <laughs> what the fuck? Like what? This reminds me of Sage wall, right here. Current flow path, and then the circle. See my like, recent episodes about Sage wall, Tizer Dolman, uh, Dolman. It's in my Sage wall, wall playlist, Tizer Dolman. Um, it is what it is. And possibly something more recent that I don't remember what I called it. But I think it is what it is might have been with this image. I don't know if that one I had yet made this image though. But this point right here where it's actually within the boundary. That kind of reminds me of that. And just generally this reminds me. Like even over there there's one off the side. Straight line, little etching. <laughs> this boundary is definitely related to that boundary. Oh my. <laughs> Sorry, yes. Yeah, it's, it's cool how that's got like a little lip there. It's protruding way more than abnormally. I think it's actually made like the material though, like that didn't get removed. Like the, uh, this looks more normal. This looks like just a chunk of material that the currents didn't take away. And just like, whoa, I don't, maybe not though. Um, maybe it's just an anomaly in the way this forms. Like it even looks like it skips here, goes across here and then down a little bit. Hard to say. This is cool, it's got little ribs in there or whatever, like a spine. Spinal cord. Also visible in that one. Which possibly happens more when it's like this, some reason, the chakras. Different one in the same rock with similar chakras, but more normal looking. Same things applying pretty much. Like, even that looks relatively to have stopped around here for some reason. Like current flows essentially forming a pressure outward from the systems like this push outward because they have current flowing in and then pushing out that then pushes boundaries. So like current flowing across here is influenced by the current flowing out of here that then just like prevents the continuation at times so maybe something of that nature so it's not like exactly related to there but as it approaches maybe it got stopped interference of the waves or something kind of way like this like it's etching is literally etching around i don't know if i can find quickly the ones doing that Probably if I just go like this, I can find at least one of them. Kind of, kind of like that, but. There it is. 
Where it's literally etching chunks out, chunk getting just little chunks getting removed as a current sweeps around this. And then it's like we can see it particularly here, it's moving in this way, like a, the spiraling of the etching, and it just stops and leaves behind this little like protruding thing here. Pretty much what's going on here, it's etching around, goes underneath this, goes over this way and over, but it just doesn't, it's like at the edge of the rock, I guess. So like the current is slipping out into the environment, if you will. Possibly going this way and hitting with the currents over here and going upward and like contributing to its spiraling overall in essence. Not sure where that was with relationship to other things. Here's an instance for like this one. Like what is this part of? Is it part of this one? It looks like it might be. But it also looks like it could very well be part of this. All the time. It doesn't make any damn sense for fossils to do that. That's pretty cool. So there's the spiral going around. And seemingly, like, where this, may maybe a current was flowing this way then, around like that, that applied a pressure over here and made whatever's happening here kind of skip and then, like, blow out there in a way. Maybe even made some sort of chakra type thing, I don't know. Maybe. Where it looks like it didn't get through this side as much. Like right here is not really etched. So whatever's going around, although right here is not that etched either. For some reason, the top side of this one influenced this bend more than the bottom side. Maybe because it was going more directly into it in the first place. Like this is kind of going towards it, where as it goes over this way, it's going more down not as directly into the resistance. Little chakra there without like a one lobe looking thing. Which definitely happens in the shallograms where it's just got like one lobe. Like poop. Tiny little lobe on this side maybe, but not really. Like nothing on one side, huge on the other. I think this might be approaching the end of these. There's a lot. Nice long, thin rock here. I believe this one was actually cut through. There we go. We can see this, whatever, this white background he's got it on through the rock, which is, I believe, here, like right there. But nucleus, this kind of thing looks maybe, it looks kind of like a yin yang, like really. Very, very yin yang like. With these two things in the overall circle. And just like a wave, I don't know. I don't know if it really has the wave part of it that well, but. Chakras. Chunk missing when it etched this way. Current etching there. <sighs> Little wiring there. Something going on. Hard to say. This one opposite face is this. So two sides with like similar looking ammonites, interestingly. But more, this one's bigger, obviously. Most of like, it's down here, over there. I think that's probably it too. See some lines going right at that chakra. Or actually possibly just to the side. Like it tends to go 
a lot of times to like a outer ring, inner ring, outer ring sometimes. Like this would be an inner ring, I guess, of the nucleus. This does not seem to go towards this structure though, or this that it's furthest with. But whatever's going on over here is maybe interacting across the both faces to this chakra that went out through that channel in some way. This one, just with this strong little uh, like etching right there for no apparent reason from a fossilization standpoint, except for trace fossils or sampling. I don't, I don't know what excuse they got. Sorry to call it an excuse, but it really is. It really is. Bump. Bump. That bump on the left there, it's kind of got little ears. A cat or something. Nucleus. Nothing too particular in this one, more so the bumps were interesting. It's almost teardrop shaped. I'm kind of just rushing through this at this point because, uh, yeah. <laughs> Some teeth there. I think I'm done. I think this is it, pretty much. It's from Sri Rudrum, obviously. Oh, no. And then I took this video because it seemed. Well, I saved, the, I saved this video. It seemed like it, this one is real interesting because it's in these little lumps. So, which the. Shallograms probably did like they started as larger systems that got divided into like lumpy things and then became more spherical afterwards. Kind of like uh, exhumation and um, sage wall area where there's more spherical things at times. And that's it. Okay, guys, uh, I'll see you next time. Holy crap, hour 42 minutes. Yep, cool. Peace out.